Alright, so, hey guys, it's Arctic here, uh, I'm sorry I've been away for so long, uh, I was, uh, you know, doing some stuff, I was, uh, trying to get things straight out, my dad is very ill, he's turning old, so, you know, we have to take care of him, I can't do anything right now, I can't upload videos, I'm so, so sorry, it's, it's my deepest apologies that I can't. Now, Pokemon What If Part 2 will be coming out in at least 3 to 4 months. I'm sorry, I know it's by another 4 months, but like, I'm my senior year of high school and I want to graduate so I can focus on what I want to focus on. And, uh, I have a friend who's living with me right now, and me and him are working and we're going to try to find us an apartment so we can, a roommate, so we can hang out and have fun. And, whatever you want. But that means I have to get my driver's license, get a car, you know, this stuff like that, and then they got to pay for Wi-Fi, but you know, at least I have hotspot. I'm gonna do this. I don't understand. I have so much on my mind right now, guys. I just turned 19 today, so you guys can wish me happy birthday if you want in the comments. You know, I love you. I won't be able to upload a video to like June or something like that when I graduate from high school. And then I will uh, start my career on YouTube. I have more time after high school than stuff, so you know. I'm still a kid, I'm still young. I'm only 19 years old. I haven't even reached adulthood yet. And you know, it's hard taking care of yourself, it's not easy. At one point, if you guys are my younger audience, if you guys are below 15 to 14 guys, let me give you advice. Don't screw up in high school. Don't be that jackass if you just appear here because you're 14 or 15. You guys remember, there's people out there who have it harder than you. Okay? No, what you want to do is be better than them. You want to approve yourself, you want to act more mature, you want to respect your teachers, you want to do your work, you don't want to be on your phone all the time. If you be on your phone all the time, you're not going to be successful in life. Nowadays, everything's becoming digital, computer, stuff like that. When I was growing up, when I was in high school, when I was growing up through the school, pre-K to my trade to middle school, and to junior, we all did paper. So, how hard is it for us seniors to transition to computers when, you know, we dip it on paper for basically our whole lives? And, uh, I, I, that's how worse it is. It's hard, you know, but here's a life advice. I'm just gonna say this once and only once. Don't do drugs, kids. That's one thing you guys shouldn't do. It's the worst. It, it, it screws you up. It makes your brain not think straight. Okay? I was doing drugs at the time because weed and stuff like that. Uh, weed is legal. If every country you guys watch this in, as you know, in California, weed is legal. So you're allowed to smoke it and buy it. But it still has a side effect of making you super dumb and stupid so your IQ is low. See, I'm not really a, a dumb student or a kid. I am actually very smart. I have a nerd personality, which I hide away in my subconscious because I don't bring them out anymore. I want to I bring them out if I'm doing a what if. So my mind can think more, but you know, I gotta, uh, I gotta do some stuff, and you know, some really cool stuff, I guess, but, uh, I'm even gonna make any videos right now, but you can follow me on Instagram, I post there, not daily, but sometimes, like, I'm not really a social person on social media, I'm not really a media platform person, I'm more of an interaction person, like, meet me in real life, we can talk, and talk, and talk. I could tell you one story to another in the simplest terms. 
I'm just saying, I'm having a hard life. You know, I have a job now, so it's one reason I'm not uploading. Uh, I haven't got my paycheck yet. So, it's hard. It's, it's not fun, guys, growing up. Enjoy your age while you can, because once you turn 18, you're gonna look at the world with a different perspective. Even your parents tell you, oh, when you turn 18, it could be different. And you say, no, it isn't. Trust me, I made that same mistake. When I turned 18, I got kicked out five times. <laughs> okay. I got kicked out five times. Okay. It was hard living on your own. It's not easy, guys. Trust me. So, my best advice is you do what your parents tell you. Even if you're 18 years old, just do a tiny bit. So, if you get it before they ask, just say, I don't want to do it. I already did it. Sorry. I can't. Enjoy your life if you're very young. It's very helpful to know that that the generation before my generation is uh, a lot better. Let's let's make 2020 a a good fucking a good year for all of society and humanity. You know, let's let's make it better let's you know show that the other generations that hey look we could do better let's thrive for something better that's not let's not do gang related stuff racism stuff you know like hypocrites two faces racism again sorry you know gang shit fucking shootings killing fucking rob stealing cars I don't understand why we do it because you know it's ex it's hard to live well a buddy like it's hard to live out someone working two jobs and getting the money you need to pay for the house bill mortgage rent whatever you guys live in and if you guys are older than 18 or like in your 20s or something like that and you already know this and I'm just saying keep thinking like ooh, why did I do this or why did I do that and always make sure you choose the right path to success and try to do better for you not someone else if you have a best friend and you guys are basically unacceptable and uh you know he gets a girlfriend one day just don't dirt me him just let him be Distance himself from your friend. He will soon realize why, why he got a girlfriend. The reason why he's not hanging out with his buddies anymore. Make some new friends. Make better friends than your other friends. No, I get if you guys are homies. Homies, okay? I don't get. Don't ever disrespect your homie. Because homies are different. Best friends are different. Friends are just friends. I say no if, it's a, if you have a real friend. A real friend will answer your texts, and he'll either ask you if you want to hang out or not. And, he, and you ask him if you want to hang out one day, and he says, "Yeah, you guys say that. That's what true friendship is. Is when you guys go out and have fun. Do stuff what friends are supposed to do. A true friend doesn't bully a friend. Doesn't bully. Okay. That includes calling people names. I mean, yeah, sure, you can put your names and fuck around for a bit, that's okay, but, like, if, so if someone else, if one of your friends is getting bullied, and, you know, like, and, you know, you're that one person in the group who gets, like, called names, like, you're gay for fun and jokes, but you guys take it too seriously, and you feel like you guys are not, you're not getting defended by your friends, and you get picked on by a different student, you know, they're not true friends. True friends will help you back your ass up. That's what true friendship is. So, any younger generation out there who can hear this video, I'm just gonna say, good luck to you in the life. Just do better than anyone else. Improve yourself. Hone your skills what you like. If someone just tells you that this isn't what you want to do, like saying that 
yo, you can't be succeed in YouTuber, you can't be good at drawing, you can't be good at this or that. And so you know, we humans have the capability to adapt and improve. It's called practicing. You say this to them, well, you know, you say this isn't a thing, but people get paid for this. You say I'm bad at drawing. Watch in the next 10 years, if I keep my drawing up and research what I'm doing in practice, my drawings will get better out of a significant time. You have to get your brains to develop at a good age. So, if you guys like playing video games, really good video games, I recommend playing some old school RPG games first. Don't play Call of Duty or Fortnite yet. You should play from the beginning. And that includes Pokemon, Ping Pong, Tetris, Pac-Man. Stuff I grew up with, even though that's from the 19s. I'm a 2000, I'm a 2000 kid. I know this stuff because I used to play it. You know, I have friends who have this stuff. Play Nintendo, Pokemon, you know, Sonic, all the good games. Then, when you reach a certain age, like 12 years old, play some Call of Duty. It doesn't hurt. You give your brain to develop. What's it like to be our age? Because I'm gonna, you know, that the generation when we have our kids, I'm gonna know that our kids are not gonna know what fun is. I feel like our kids are just gonna be super straight and super smart and not know what fun is, and you know. How it was the game with the boys and you know stuff like that? I'm just saying, just improve yourself. Don't think ahead too far. Think ahead a little bit. Think of the present. Learn from your mistakes. And for the people who uh, who think being gangster is everything, trust me, it isn't. If you're a gangster and you do something bad. You're gonna get a probation officer on you, and if you wanna be a football player, and you wanna get a scholarship to go to a football NFL team, you can't have that stuff on you, dude. That is, it's you. It's not possible to get a scholarship. If you have an officer on you from doing something different, like a probation, if guys don't know what it's called, you can't get that. It's a privilege to be working in the NFL. It's a privilege to work at the White House. You gotta have a, a good community status. Yeah, sure, fights are fights, suspensions are suspensions, but having an officer on you, watching you, isn't good. Because that, because that tells people that, oh wait, he's a bad person in our society, and we can't trust him. Because, because even though he doesn't seem mean, he does something bad, and people are not going to look at the good stuff he did, but why he has someone on him. Just be careful out, guys, please. Especially if you live in California, stay away from the Aldis, legitly, and to your young girls who are on your phones all the time. Oh god, night. You must like you're gonna get raped, sexually harassed, because there's people out there who are so desperate they'll break into homes and rape a 12 year old. Right? It's not right. Anyway, so. This is, uh, by the way, boys, hang out with your friends as much as possible. I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded this much, but, you know, this is going to be the final upload I do until I graduate. I'll make a video when I graduate. I'm sorry, but, you know, if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's, I'll, it's, my TikTok is, Arctic boy, that Arctic boy. If you want to follow me, go ahead and do. All right, like, and it's connected to my Instagram too. So, Arctic boy is signing out. And have a great year.